här är ju briljant. There's a, an increasing demand of energy production in the world today. And three quarters of all that energy is being wasted out into the atmosphere. Experts say that that energy could heat up all of Europe alone. Welcome to Burger King in Malmö, Sweden. But I'm not here to serve you any burgers or any fries or any drinks. I'm actually here to show you and Jay's technology, how it works in the real life. So join me. In clean areas such as residential and offices, we're actually quite good at recovering the energy. But when it comes to process ventilation within fast food, like in here, or industrial laundry or heavy industry, it's not being recovered at all. The mix of grease and soot and quite warm air is creating this tarmac that is clogging up and destroying traditional heat exchanger. And that is where we have put our science and research in to overcoming that. The space between the coils is much larger than between the fins of a traditional heat exchanger. The result is a unique airflow pattern where most of the particles can pass through the heat exchanger instead of sticking to the coils. So this is a typical Burger King. And when it's fully operating, it's steaming hot in here. It can be up to 30 degrees hot. And all of that hot air is just being extracted out in the canopies that we can see here. Up here, through the ductwork, through our unit, heating up the cold water going in our coils. And the cold water gets warm and heating up the building again and actually cover 98% of the heating usage for this building. And this is only one kitchen for Burger King. Burger Kings, they have several kitchens in Scandinavia with our systems, in the Baltics, in the UK, and that is just one brand. Other brands have followed because they can see that they have ways as well. And on the industrial side, it's even a bigger impact. It can be up to 20, 30 times higher the effect of, uh, of savings. What we can see is that the more money our customer saves, the bigger effect we have on reducing CO2 emissions. This is a bit of utopia, of course, but when you talk about potential, if all restaurants should recover their energy from our system, we would cut 1% of the calculated emissions by 2050. And that is just for restaurants. Then you have industrial. So if, if we could get 99 more companies doing the same thing as we do, we will solve the crisis we have today. That's enough. Just 99 more. <laughs> Thank you, have a nice day.